worked at McDonald's. I, I did the french fries and I did the ice cream. I worked at McDonald's. I was a student when I was working at McDonald's. There was not a family relying on me to pay the rent, put food on the table, and keep the get bills paid by the end of the month. But the reality of McDonald's is that a majority of the folks who are working there today are relying on that income to sustain a household and a family. And if we want to talk about these golden arches being a symbol of the best of America, well, the arches are falling short. And we have... We got to talk about Kamala getting caught lying once again. And, you know, I touched on this a little bit yesterday, um, but it's just... <laughs> I've seen even more. Like, y'all heard her say... Uh, I used to do the fries and the ice cream. Well, there's another video where she said I did the fries and I was a cashier. <laughs> it's just like, bro, like why lie about something so silly? Think about it. Two middle class kids, one a daughter of Oakland, California, <laughs> who was raised by a working mother. I had a summer job at McDonald's. The other Like I'm not saying there's anything wrong with working at McDonald's uh, You know, everybody has a, a role in society, right? Somebody's got to work there um, But to lie about it like that That's crazy work right there That's some crazy work Like Lying about working at McDonald's? Seriously? Really? That's, that's the bar that was I mean I guess we shouldn't be too surprised considering who it is and what party she represents. But man, are like they are stooping to an all time low with this to lie about something so silly. It's just like it's almost mind boggling. You know, it, it, it's just absolute. And to blatantly do it like that, like like to be bold enough to do that. Like, could you imagine if Trump said, yeah, I I uh, sold kites you know, so I know how you guys feel. Like, bro, they they would eviscerate him in the media. Not literally, but in the media, mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC. Bro, they would pick that story apart. And you know, the crazy part is, I haven't heard anybody from CNN, MSNBC, MSDNC, uh, talk about Kamala lying about working at McDonald's, though. Kind of interesting how that works. But when Obama said it back in the day, like we knew exactly where he worked. It was a big news story. As a matter of fact, the rest of the, the, the uh, place like put up like a, a thing showing like, hey, this is where Obama worked. Like, where did Kamala actually work? Ever since Tiananmen Tim got busted for lying about being a head coach, inflating his military service and telling Kamala he can't handle spice after winning a spicy taco competition, there's been growing doubts about the Harris Walls campaign. Tonight, one of Kamala's key elements to her biography has come into question, and it's a big one. Well, I want to ask a question uh, about a topic that really unites America, fast food. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I, I heard a rumor that you worked at McDonald's. Is this I true? I did. Yes, uh, I did I work didn't at know McDonald's that about when I was you. in school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me too. Uh -huh. I worked registered <laughs> drive through and grill. Uh, I was known as a triple threat, okay, just for the record. <laughs> I did fries. Just the... Just the fries? fries. Just I did fries, and then I did the cashier. Okay, I'm impressed. Fries uh -huh. are hard. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You see what I'm saying? I thought she said she did fries in the ice cream. <laughs> now it's fries in the cashier. You know? Like, you, can, you can't even get the story straight. Like, that's that's basic. That's basic. Like, you just say the same thing. That's, that's basic level lying. She can't even lie properly, which is also sad. Like, goodness gracious. What else can't you do? You know, you 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 can't even lie properly. You can't you can't even say the same thing you've already said before. Like that that is that's crazy work. Producer at prime time who used to work the kitchen says fries aren't hard. They're the easiest. And Kamala didn't even start talking about cooking fries until she decided to run for president. There was no mention of McDonald's in both of her memoirs. And so far, all reporters looking into it have found no evidence. Andrew Kerr is a reporter at the Washington Free Beacon who's been investigating this story. So what'd you find? 
Right. Well, Kamala's story about her job in McDonald's has shifted dramatically over the past couple weeks. Um, at first, her campaign came out and said that this was a job she worked to pay her way through college. Uh, but now they say that she worked there for one summer just to earn a little extra spending money. So, yeah, we looked into it. Uh, did she actually work at McDonald's? Well, she didn't mention it throughout the first several decades of her political career, uh, made no mention of it in both of her books, including her 2019 memoir, in which she devoted an entire chapter to the struggles of service industry workers. Uh, there's been several biographies published about her in the past couple of years, none of which mention her job at McDonald's. Uh, the author of one of those biographies told us that he was not aware of the claim. We obtained a job application that Kamala filled out for a um, law clerk position in 1987 that instructed her to list every job that she had for the past 10 years. McDonald's is not mentioned in that uh, job application or in her resume. Um, at that time, uh, we reached out to uh, McDonald's corporate several times asking, hey, can you confirm her employment? No response. We reached out to McDonald's in the Alameda area. Uh, none would say if Kamala worked at her at their location. Uh, we reached out to the Harris campaign asking, hey, can you specify you know, which location in Alameda County that she worked at? and they won't answer. So it, it's possible that she did work at McDonald's for a few weeks in the summer of uh, 1983. But you know, when you put all this together, it just raises some very serious questions about what has become a foundational narrative that Democrats are relying on to connect uh, Kamala Harris to the working class. So McDonald's keeps pretty good records of their employees? Right. They have a, a full-time archivist on, on file. You know, we, we, <laughs> Pestered them for weeks uh, okay. and never got a response. So they know everybody who's ever worked at a McDonald's, and you gave them a month or a couple weeks, and the maybe future president of the United States, something you'd want to brag about if you were McDonald's. They didn't get back to you with anything. That is, and you're right, Andrew, we're not saying she never worked at McDonald's. We're just saying it doesn't smell right and there's no evidence anywhere. Uh, Anything else you'd like to add? You do a really good job with this investigative reporting. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it, I think a great comparison is uh, the 2008 campaign. Uh, it was a big storyline, Obama's uh, first job as an ice cream scooper at Baskin Robbins. Uh, the difference with uh, then and now is that there was no mystery at all surrounding Obama's first job. Uh, news outlets published the address of his Baskin Robbins in Honolulu on their websites. Photographers posted photos of the location. Um, Baskin Robbins proudly touts on his website that Obama used to scoop ice cream for them. And the manager of that location you know, tout, uh, you know, joked uh, to the LA Times uh, in 2009 that she turned into somewhat of a media professional after dealing with so many reporters during the 2008 campaign. Uh, the same just can't be said about Harris. There's nothing but mystery no. surrounding her claim to work at McDonald's. Very mysterious. Maybe it was Burger King and she forgot. <laughs> so, like, for me, it's just like, come on. If you're going to lie about something that small, what else are you lying about? We know you lied about Biden and you didn't apologize for it. She said she was proud of it uh, in the CNN interview with, well, fireside chat with Dana Bash. Um, and then you lie about working at McDonald's and your running mate is just a blatant liar. Like, y'all just... That, it's, it's just a lying team over there. Like, that's all they do. Lie, 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 lie. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I understand and I get why she would have said something like that. Um, but you could have said anything else. Like, she was trying to make a connection with, you know, the people standing around her, you know, like uh, working class people. She's trying to make that connection. But, I mean, literally, you could have said anything else. Literally. Like, you think you're going to get away with lying about something like that when you're potentially going to be the next president? I don't believe you will be, but that she has a shot. As, as Ben Carson said, she can win. Okay, she can win. Uh, I love what Ben Carson said. If you haven't seen that YouTube short that I dropped, definitely go and check it out. All right, make sure you check it out, my YouTube shorts. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> It's also just funny to me how, like, she was blatant, like, the, like the, the, the gall, the cojones to just, like, to lie about something like that. It's, that That's just crazy. That is just crazy, you know? 
at least Obama actually worked at the place he said he worked at, you know, and there was proof, there was evidence, and it was a big thing, right? Um, she clearly didn't work there, in my humble opinion, because McDonald's corporate would have said it. The location where she worked at would have showed it, right? Where's the evidence? As a matter of fact, there's a rumor that uh, someone in corporate has said that there is no record of her ever working at any McDonald's location. So, yeah. You gonna lie about something that silly? It's crazy, man. We need Trump back. We need Trump back ASAP. ASAP. Um, once again, if you want to get involved, get in contact with somebody like Scott Pressler, TPUSA. Um, I'm sure there's ways that you can do things from home, make some phone calls. Um, if you're mobile, you can go door to door, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, let's win this thing so we can keep liars out of the White House like Kamala and Tim Waltz. Please, y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.